All right, guys, this is part three of our cross um, or of our contour hand project. Uh, we're going to talk about cross contour next. If you did not watch part one and part two, please watch that first before you um, start this video. And uh, in part one, we talked about blind contour. Blind contour is when we don't look at um, our paper while we're drawing, where our eye is focusing on the contours or the edges of the object while our pencil is moving. Uh, I just finished up our contour drawing uh, where you can look at your object and the paper at the same time or at, you know, 50% intervals. So 50% of the time you're looking at your hand or the object and 50% of the time you're looking at um, your paper. So I went in and I, I did have to erase in some areas to get proportions right. I tried to draw it uh, as accurately as I saw it. Um, remember that these lines are not sketching lines either. These are just one continuous line. It's as though your eye and your hand are working together to create that, um, you know, the, those contours of those edges. So uh, our last one is called cross contour. And uh, I already did a contour drawing. So it starts out just like uh, our part two video. And I added in the details, but the next thing that I'm going to do so I'm going to try to move my paper and put my hand back in the same position so that you can see is I had my hand in this sort of position and now what I'm going to do is look at um, not just the edges or the outline of my object but also the surface edges and look at and see you know in what direction if I were to draw a line across it uh, how would that line fall so I see that this is very curved on my thumb. So what I'm going to do in this area here is I'm going to just start drawing some curved lines over and maybe where it bumps into my fingernail and kind of goes dips down and goes back up. This is kind of challenging because it really requires you to look at the surface of the object. Um, if you've done like cross hatching before, shading before, uh, that's very similar to cross contour drawing. So I'm going to continue looking at the shapes. And if you get confused and you're like, I don't know if that's like a curved surface, um, take your pencil and run it over it. You know, uh, what kind of a line is, is made on uh, there? Like this area here is very flat, but as my pencil falls over the edge of my, my palm, or the back side of my hand, curves down. So I'm just going to continue making my lines across uh, areas on my hand that are flat. I'm going to just flatten them out. Areas where I see where it's kind of dipping down. And as I keep adding these lines, and the more lines that you have, the, the more form you start to achieve with these contour lines. And you can do cross contour too. You can make them go the opposite way. You know, what would this line look like if it came down? Oh, and then it would bump up onto this top surface of my hand. And you're just going to keep on making those lines all the way across. They should be continuous, fall along the whole entire hand. When it finds a new area, my watch band is very flat. All right, it's going to have to bump up bump back down and I just realized I forgot the under edge of my watch so I'm going to add that in there and then it drops down and it goes along the edge here. And as I continue to just keep on looking at the curves in my hand and the surface of my hand. And you'll find too that a lot of curves are almost parallel to one another especially the closer that they, they are to your, the last line that you made because they follow a pattern. So I'm going to continue making these curves and come meet me in class and I'll show you what the final um, project looks like. So after we're done drawing all these hands, we're going to add some other details in. Uh, we're even going to paint too to add some color into it. Um, so catch me in the next video. Thanks.